What's up everyone? It's Hey John and I Jabber Opportunities Nonstop. Today I will be discussing Dogecoin and the bullish narrative. Of course, I will be giving you guys some macroeconomic perspectives so you can understand what the heck is going on. And of course, we will be covering the charts as well to see where are we going. Let's go ahead and get to it. Weeble. I've been using them for over one year now. You can get two free stocks courtesy of Weeble. All you gotta do is use my link down below in the description, deposit 100 bucks, and you can trade commission free cryptocurrency and stocks. What are you waiting for? Check it out. All right, folks. So, the first thing I want to cover today are the two Fed chairs nominees one is Jay Powell, and the other one is Leo. Well, these are both capable individuals, and the reason why I bring them up is because this will determine the interest rates or the normalization of the economy. And why is this important? Because the normalization of the economy means that we raise interest rates because we've been all time low to quote unquote, stimulate the economy. And now we have inflation coming along. So my point being is that if we get Jay Powell, most likely we will see a tightening of the interest rates, which means increase sooner rather than later. If we get Leo as a next Fed chair, then I would assume that she may not be as tempted to raise her rates as fast as Jay Powell because if Jay Powell comes back, he will be emboldened to want to execute his plan and now he's in office for a little longer and he has nothing to worry about. However, if Leo comes in, she may be a little more like, okay, let me be more cautious and see where the economy is going. So I would say she'll be more reactive and I would say Jay Powell will be more proactive. So if it were my vote, I would go with Jay Powell because if he increases the rates, then that means that we will see a slowdown of the economy, which means less inflation. And to me, that means folks will stop hurting as much and they will be able to invest more of their money into assets to create and take the next step towards their financial freedom. So let's go ahead and take a macro look at the cryptocurrency market. Currently for the day, Bitcoin is around 57,000 or 58K. Ethereum, 4,200 bucks. We're seeing Binance coin at 579. We're seeing Solano and Cardano both up 9% and 3% respectively. We're seeing Dogecoin up 2.26% and Shibu Inu up a whopping 10%. So we're seeing a recovery across the board, but it is not held equal to all of the coins. Bitcoin and Dogecoin are the slower recoveries and Bitcoin is still showing a little slump. Ethereum is still pulling up and I suspect it's because of their utility plays, right? Bitcoin is seeing headwinds because of what I mentioned before with Jay Powell. If he gets reelected, he may raise interest rates and that may take away the storage of value from Bitcoin because that means the US dollar will be worth a little more. But overall though, it's very bullish news for the cryptocurrency market. We're seeing a nice bounce, a nice recovery today. Obviously we're still down for the week and that's no problem because people take profits. And as you know, that is perfectly healthy and that is what you want in a market. So after taking a quick look at the crypto markets today, I would say we're doing quite well because we've been bleeding nonstop for about 10% for the week. And now we're seeing a bounce back. And to me, this is a positive sign because people are buying the dips. Yes, you had some folks who sold for some profits, but at the end of the day though, you have to understand crypto is a new market. It's still in the infancy stages. Even if you get in today, in a few years from now, you will be up quite a bit. That I am quite certain about. Is it a guarantee? No, but I feel very strongly about it though. If you look at cryptocurrency, the inception till now, the majority of the coins are up. Yes, you have the poo coins where they either disappear or evaporate because they're a scam. So if you have those, then well, you know what? That's different, right? Those are scams. They're meant to take away your money. To me, those are like penny stocks. If you want to go into it, super high risk and super high reward, but you never know which penny stocks are going to be the diamond of the rough. And that applies to the poo coins. You never know which one is a diamond of the rough, right? So I wanted to give some perspective on what the US dollar is and how it looks from a crypto perspective here. We have $27 trillion in circulation. We have an unlimited supply cap. We have only one node. 1% of holders own 30% of the dollars. 25% supply minted in the last six months. 38 million notes printed every single day. Loses at least 
3% of value every year in the bear market since its conception. So ladies and gentlemen, you tell me what the true pool coin is, Dogecoin or the US dollar? Comment down below, please. So let me go ahead and cover the Dogecoin charts. So we are looking at the Dogecoin chart from a daily perspective. The current price as of this recording is 2336. And guess what folks? Yesterday when I made a video, I showed you guys this nice orange circle and I was saying, hey guys and gals, this is where you want to get in for your dip buying opportunity. And guess what you are seeing right now? You are seeing a beautiful candlestick. I would almost call this a reversal, but we need three to four days of confirmation. But as of right now, it's looking very bullish. So yesterday, the low was 21.42. The high was 24.27. Today, the low is 21.24 and the high is 24. So... With all that being said, is this a bullish outcome or bearish outcome? It can be either or. I'm going to say bullish because I like that we are bouncing back. Bearish though because we're seeing a lower low and a higher low. So that's why I read you the highs and lows for the past two days. And don't forget folks, today's Dogecoin chart is still live. It doesn't end until 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we have several more hours to build up this chart. Now, if we can break the previous day's high of 24, 27, then ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna say we are on our way to rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, I believe cryptocurrency is seeing a nice reprieve and it's much needed because we've seen nonstop bleeding for the past few days. And whew, I don't know about you guys and gals, but I'm getting exhausted looking at these charts and I'm getting exhausted looking at my profits dwindle and disappear. That is A-OK -okay because this is the game we play because we wanna make that money. And I've always been telling you guys and gals that you need a mental six pack because these psychological games that these institutions play with you, well, it's all psychological and it's long drawn out. It's not gonna be a quick battle. It's gonna be long drawn out over days, over weeks, over months even possibly over years. I've seen it in the equity markets and now you are seeing these institutions move in to the cryptocurrency market. So you better believe these games are here. And for the majority of folks who are in cryptocurrency, I make these videos for you because if you are new, you may not be exposed to these games. So it's my job to enlighten you and share with you guys my knowledge because I've been trading for over 15 years now. And well, I've seen quite a bit. So that being said, when I see dips, I get excited. For the new folks, when you see dips, they get scared and they panic sell. For me, I buy it up because that is where you get your discounts. And we saw a huge Black Friday discount given early this year. I would say a week early. So with all that being said, if you are one of the real ones, leave me a comment down below with a secret word of Mike. Because I want to be like Mike. And I guarantee you, I will respond back to your comment because I want to know who are the real ones? So go ahead and please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And most importantly, have an awesome day and I will catch you all on the next one.